Hollywood. It's one of the biggest dog-eat-dog -dog cities in the world. Every year, thousands of hopeful producers will pitch their ideas to the big shots of the town, but only the best of the best will make it to the silver screen. These top Hollywood producers will give contestants the chance to pitch their million-dollar ideas, followed by an intense interrogation. To face them takes heart and vision. Three pilots will be made, but only one will be crowned the winner. It's now time to face the panel. Known as the queen of television, Roxy Valentine has an eye for talent and no time for nonsense. If you're good, you're good. If not, get out. Victoria Scott is the sweetheart of the business, but she's not afraid to destroy your dreams. Don't let my smile fool you. I'll eat you up and spit you out. Brock Taylor has ruled the Hollywood Hills for over 30 years. Now he's back to find a diamond in the rough. You think you have what it takes? Well, you probably don't. Turn your cameras on, step into the light, and pitch like a pro. This is The Producers. How you doing? My name's Steve. My family's lived in this neighborhood for years. Recently, things got so tight, we had to go to our local food bank for help. I lost a lot of sleep worrying about what the neighbors might think. That is until I saw them there, too. How'd I do, Steve? A little stiff. If you could have done a little what? better. What? Come on. You know, I have an Academy Award. Yeah, but not for playing me. Play a role in ending hunger. Visit feedingamerica.org slash hunger and find your local food bank. A single ember that escapes from a wildfire can travel more than a mile. That single ember can ignite and destroy your home or even your community. You can't control where that ember will land, only what happens when it does. Get Fire Adapted now at fireadapted.org. All right, I know this isn't any fun to talk about, but we should. Okay, so who's going to do what? I'll pack the dead batteries. Great. I'll only put what I don't need into a duffel bag. Perfect. That's totally unhelpful. No problem. Meanwhile, I will try to comfort everyone by speaking in a calm voice. And I'll try to get the generator going without any gas. Oh, let's not forget the cell phones, which probably won't work. Right. And who is going to handle supplies? I can forget to do a list for us. Thanks, pal. Well, I think we couldn't be any less prepared. I'm proud of you guys. Talk to your kids about who to call, where to meet, what to pack. Visit ready.gov slash kids for tips and information. It's easy to tell if you've had way too many. But what if you've had just one too many? Buzz driving is trunk driving. First, we have Jane Weingarten from Little Rock, Arkansas. Let's see if she's got what it takes. Hello. Hi, I'm, I'm Jane Weingarten and I'm here to produce two guys tonight. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm really, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just like really, I'm really nervous. I've never done this before. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm wasting your time. Um, I, the well, at least show, you know it. What? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Roxy. Um, my, my show tonight is a mockumentary about animals. Um, I can tell by that shirt. But, I, <laughs> Not just any animals, like wild animals that people catch and keep as pets. And my idea is because I catch wild squirrels and um, dye their tails and keep them in my house. And I was thinking I could be the pilot episode because there's nothing really on TV um, with animals, crazy animals as pets. But I think it's a, a new trend in America and that's, that's my pitch. 
Uh huh. Hmm. It's it's an interesting concept. Um, would would you be interested since you would be on the pilot episode? Would you want to host or would yes, that be your it's my dream to be a host? Well, we you need some work on that, and I could no 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 I could help you there because this oh, it's sweetie, okay please. it's okay oh no here here what's your name honey Jane 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 stand up tall put the tissue away. You know what? Take the glasses off. Let me let me see those eyes. Oh my God! There she is. There she is. I'm telling you. You stick some contacts in those eyes. You can yes, see those see. squirrels a whole lot clearer. Budding flower. Budding flower. Yeah, I mean, you can is. you can leave them on for now, but I'm yeah, telling you. Yeah, I can't you. see. That's what I'm saying. I can help you with this because I know. I've been in this business for a very long time, and I know at first it probably seems really scary. I probably seem really scary. Mm-hmm. But that's why I really think that this idea could work. And because I have a friend who actually has a pet serval, you know, little cat things. Oh, yeah. And so I, I think mm-hmm. it would be a good idea. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I actually don't like this idea. I love it. <gasps> I'm telling you, you just need a little more confidence because you, you, got, you got some gold going on here. Oh, my um, God. I absolutely love this idea. I love animals, and I think I could really work with you to boost your confidence so you could host this show. I Thank really you. do. I really do. I mean, the concept is there. You just gotta, you just gotta, you know, step into the light and really own it. Oh, I can do that. I'm so sorry. You you seem like a, a very nice girl. Um, very nice. Very nervous. I, I don't see you um, hosting a show. Mm-hmm. I think you're gonna be doing wonderful things in your life. I mean, but I this isn't my style. This show isn't really my style, so I don't think that we would be a good match. So. I will offer you my friend, who has their pet serval, who also knows other people with exotic animals. I could make your whole series with people I know. Oh. I do not know what a circle is, but I can offer you the production quality better than anyone else in this town. Hands down. Mm -hmm. You want an animal show? I'll give you an animal show in HD. Okay. Two animal shows. Let's stick with one first, then we'll go on to two. Okay, we'll push it. Um, See, he can give you his HD, but I'm not sure, I don't have HD. I'm not sure what that is. High definition. Oh. But I work with E, Mm. and like I said, I have friends that work with Animal Planet. They could hook you up. Isn't that, isn't that your target audience you're going yes. for, Animal Planet? That's in HD. Yeah, she's right. So, what do you think? Who are you going to pick? Well, you guys have all helped my confidence a lot, because that was really hard for me, but um, I'm going to have to go with Roxy. <sighs> Sorry. Well, thank you very much. Thank Hello. you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, let's not. Let's, you. let's not. We're, we're not there yet. Okay. We're not there yet. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Take those contacts out. I mean in. I'm very surprised in the two of you. Very surprised. I really thought I was going to get that one. Diamond in the rough. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it. You I weren't have all the feeling resources that. to help her. You if I see a business, I'm going to take all. it. You weren't feeling that at all? I don't know. Maybe I'm telling you, that girl has potential. I agree. She really does. I look forward to working Best with her. Best of luck. Best of luck. Thank all you. All right. Let's see what we got next. Like Jane went with Roxy for the pitch. Did not see that one coming. We'll be right back after the break. I've always said that you can't change what you don't acknowledge. So let's acknowledge this. One in six Americans now struggle with hunger. These are our co-workers, neighbors, friends. Visit feedingamerica.org to find your local food bank to help. You're on your way to meet up with friends, but you can't seem to get anywhere quickly. You don't want your friends to be annoyed, so you text. You're on your way. Five seconds is the average time your eyes are off the road while texting while driving. Make sure you get where you're going.
Read to a child today and spark a lifetime of ambition. You sure you don't want some? It's chamomile. Lisa, you are extremely terrifying. Just the scariest undead subhuman thing on TV, and I really mean that. <laughs> but I am worried that you could give my kids nightmares if they see you, so I'm gonna have to block you. <laughs> so that's it. Oh, and, and tell the zombies they're, they're blocked too. <laughs> Next up, we're going international with Kyle Withy from Sydney, Australia. I wonder what pitches are like down under. Hello, producers. Uh, my name's Kyle Withy. I am from Australia, I'm from Sydney uh, specifically. Um, basically, what I've come here to tell today to uh, pitch to you guys is this, this great new show that's actually not new, but it's new to us Australians. So we are addicted to the new the the housewives of like Orange County and Atlanta and all those but I have to be honest they just like they don't know how to party so Australians we love to party and we have this awesome drink called goon it's actually like the cheapest drink you can get it's just boxed wine so I mean you get like the the women love it especially and they are crazy um, and so like the parties are crazy, the, the Sheilas are crazy, I know Americans love that word. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think that we could make it a huge hit over in Australia. I'm thinking we could do like a, like a Real Housewives Adelaide, which is like in the middle of the desert, it's like in the country. Um, and you know, the, the women over there are just absolutely out of their mind, they're, they're bonkers, if you will. I don't know if you guys still use that word. But um, yeah, basically I think we could do this well, I think with all your help, we can we can make it a huge hit with lots of drama, and and I'm I'm excited to see the future. So that's my pitch. Huh. I have a couple of questions. Yeah, please. Um, the where, what is the location? Adelaide. It's like Adelaide. Yeah, it's uh Adelaide. 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 Um, <clears throat> Adelaide, Adelaide, Adelaide. Mm -hmm. Adelaide. yeah, Adelaide. 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 yeah, okay. um, yeah. It's like basically on closer to the western part of the country, where it's like, you know, just the crazy people live out there. Because every all the all the real like city people live on the east coast, mm -hmm. and so you just get those those random crazy women out there. Question. Yeah. Would you be willing to make it the Real Housewives of Sydney? Because I'm digging this concept down under. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, I think America doesn't really know Adelaide, so they can't really relate to it. Right, right. When people hear Sydney, they're like, oh, okay, Sydney. Yeah, no. You know, I, maybe we I, could I take some people from Adelaide and put them in Sydney. Yeah, Is no, I, actually, that, yeah. No, feel I, me? I'd definitely be down to do that, especially because Sydney, Sydney is more populated. So, so I, I mean, that's a cool... I mean, I guess that's a good idea, but I just... I think that the Adelaide idea is a lot better just because, like you said, nobody's really heard of it. And so that's how people hear about things is they watch them on TV. So what if you left it there? I mean, what, would you say, I guess it's kind of a redneck kind yeah, of thing of yeah. Australia? See, I think that... Right. If no one's heard of it, that. no one's going to watch it. Duck Dynasty is so popular. I think, yeah. it, I think it could work. Do you know how many people watch that show? No. You don't know what you're talking people about. People will not watch Adelaide. They will watch Sydney. People the, like what they know. People, The Real Housewives... In every series in America here, mm -hmm. it's glamour. It is luxury. Mm -hmm. And that's what America wants to see. So I'm going to side with John on this. Okay. I think Sydney is the way to go. And you need to have the elite women of Sydney, not some girls fish hunting, mm -hmm. duck hunting, sorry, in Adelaide. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Personally. That's what the Real Housewives are all about. Yeah, no, I just, I just thought that we could do like a little spin and like make it That's a little different. But I see where you're coming from. I like the idea. I mean, I'd be down to do anything. I just need to. See, your but help. what if you branch out? And what if one is successful and then you end up doing both? You gotta start with what I people know. All right, yeah, no. And I, I feel like I could offer him both and you couldn't because I'm more willing to accept his first location. Okay, well, let me make you an offer. Okay. Myself, I have worked for Bravo for 16 years. I Bravo. just left yeah. there about two years ago. So 
Um, I actually cultivated the Real Housewives. That's my thing. That's my baby. I know the ropes. I know them frontwards, backwards, upside down, up to down, you name it. Mm -hmm. I got this show. I know what works. I know what doesn't. And I can promise you, you stick with me, Real Housewives of Sydney will be the number one watch television show in America. Yeah, I like it. I can that. promise you yeah, that. No, Bravo right here, is very right popular now. in Australia. It's very popular. Okay. He may have worked yeah. on Bravo, Real Housewives. I created, but whatever. Okay, so to speak. I have a little bit more of a personal history with the Real Housewives. I was very close to being casted as a Real Housewife. Really? Yeah, actually. Oh. I was in the final cut, but unfortunately, I'm not married, so, you know, details. Right. People but, wonder why. Awkward. Mm. Okay, yep, okay, go. Anyway, yep. all I'm saying is, I know what those women are about. I could help you specifically work with the talent. I know the look. I know the girls that you're trying to get. And I think that along with maybe Bravo is great, but what if you started a Real Housewives series on VH1? We have it copyrighted, just okay. saying. Wait, can I ask you a quick question? Yeah. Okay, there have been like, what, five or six seasons? I don't know how, how many seasons of uh, the Real Housewives have there been. About six. About six, yeah. Um, have... It has the the last season has it been like trending downwards or is it still going up? Oh, it's going nowhere but up. Okay. People love the drama. That's it's booming right now. No, it's well, good to hear. You yeah. know, speaking of drama, I have been with E for ten years. You know, we're all about drama. We've got Joan Rivers on Fashion Police. We have all these other reality TV shows such as Bad Girls Club and things like that. And you know, Bad Girls Club, those girls are crazy. And so I feel like I could offer you that because I've been working on that show since it started, and I feel like I could. I know what you're looking for when you say crazy. Yeah. Joan is crazy. She's crazy. Yeah. So VH1 hasn't seen something like this yet. They would eat this up. VH1 needs, and I'm not pitching for specifically VH1. There are plenty. Oxygen, Women's, Women's Entertainment. There are so many other channels that we could branch this out to. Maybe you would even spend a little bit less money on production costs. So but more people watch E than any of those channels. Do you, do you, do you, have you heard of Women's Entertainment? No, probably not. No, no. See? You say he's heard of E. The woman is your target audience. The is women who watch women's entertainment. Is E the one with uh, Ellen? Yeah. Oh, then uh, I'm sorry. I haven't heard of that either. All right. Okay. Let's end this right now. Yeah. Pick me, and not only will I help you produce your show, I'll help you cast it. I'll help you find the crazies. I'm a crazy magnet. No. We can go down under, and we can find the craziest women out there. And I, I can promise to, you, no, they will no. have the most drama out of any series out there. No, if you've seen Bad Girls Club, I help cast those crazy women. Have, if you haven't seen it, you need to see it because then you would definitely pick me. Because he doesn't know what he's talking about when he says he knows crazy. Oh, but I do. I do. No, absolutely not. I am friends with Real Housewives. I know all about these women. Aren't we all? <laughs> all I'm saying is... I've worked on so many women's entertainment specials. I work specifically with fashion, specifically with all these different types of shows that your demographic, that those are the people you're trying to attract. And I know exactly how to get those women in your pocket. Who's it gonna be? All right, Kyle, I think we've heard enough. All right. Take your pick. Well, first of all, I just wanna say thank you for letting me come and pitch my show today. It's been a really great experience. Um, it was a very hard decision for me. Um, I, you, all three of you guys have a lot of experience, especially with these crazy women TV drama shows, so I really like that. Um, unfortunately, and fortunately, I'm going to have to pick Brock, just because of your experience. So Boom. I'm, I'm not let you down, my friend. Yeah, no, I'm very excited. Thank you very much. Welcome to the industry. Yeah, thank you guys for saying this. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, ladies. Looks like I got that one. You. you just bravo. Yeah, bravo. Good one. You just schmoozed him with your connections. That's all it is. That's all it is. It's really all it is. Whatever. Bring Do you guys need on. a tissue? Oh. oh. I, I want find my one. next victim. I can't wait to see the Real Housewives of Sydney. We'll be right back with the producers. Now it's time for This Week in Bad Stats. Bad stats? Horrible stats. Here goes. 132. That's how many batters struck out four times in one game last season. Wow, very good. Here's a tough one, though. Three and four. No idea. That's how many kids witnessed bullying. Three out of four. 
That's not a good stat. No, it's not, but it can change. Kids want to help, but they don't know how. Visit StopBullying.gov and give them the tools they need to help prevent bullying. There are plenty of safe ways kids can help at StopBullying.gov. Hi, my name's CJ. A few years ago, my father became seriously ill. I did what I could do before he passed, but it took its toll. I lost my job, my house. I'm getting back on my feet, but I don't know when there'll be food on the table. How'd I do, CJ? We could be twins. Well, cousins, maybe. <laughs> Play a role in ending hunger. Visit feedingamerica.org slash hunger and find your local food bank. Hey, I'm Anderson Cooper. As a parent, you want to make sure that your child knows how to deal with bullying when they see it happening. And chances are they want to help, but they don't really know how. I'll teach them that the best thing to do is calmly walk away, find a teacher or other adult, and speak up. And do your part. Be that adult they can talk to and trust will listen. Join me to help stop bullying. Go to stopbullying.gov to find out more. Get caught buzz driving, and you could do some hard time. Craig, knock it off. Sorry, Mom. It could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. And that could set you back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Lastly, we have Grace Baldridge from Waterloo, Belgium. This girl is quite a character, so let's see what she's got up her sleeve. Hello, producers. Hi, uh, it's an honor to be here. Um, I'm not used to being on television. I didn't know this, I was... Can I just, is this, is this part of your show? I didn't know wearing? I was supposed to dress up, um, but it is actually, I'm gonna work it in, so we'll get to that. I brought a visual aid with me today. Um, so I'll just, I'll just like start here. I wasn't sure like what to bring. Hello, I'll start with this. Hi, hello. Uh, my name is Grace. That's me, it's pointed to me because that's me. Hi, I'm Grace. Um, and I was wondering, I wanted to ask you guys, what do you think television is missing? Not you. That was like a, like a, ser it was like a serious question. Oh, so you, so you, you want a serious answer. Well, yeah. that's very nice of you. Well, let me answer okay. it. Let me answer, I'll jump in, I'll jump right in. I think television is missing friends. Not like the TV show Friends, although I have to say like I'm pretty sad, like, you know, pre it's pretty heavy on my heart that Friends is gone too, but like, I think it's missing Friends. Specifically, I think it's missing real Friends, like, like you see the people, like the, hap the friends down there, like real Friends, not like, like the Kardashians, well, I guess they're like family, but they're also like friends, or like hybrid family and friends, but I feel like we need real Friends on TV, and they should be my friends. Which brings me to my next thing, my friends. And I want to tell you a little bit about me and my friends because I think we're an awful compelling story. Are they and, anything like you? Well, let me, I'll, I'll, I'll explain all about it and then I feel free to ask some questions at the end. So my friends, we play basketball, which is this illustration I've included for you. You don't look like you play sports, so I wanted to let you know a little bit. Um, so uh, at the bottom, I wrote, I wrote ball so hard like a mother like a it's a it's a song it's a it's a song so I just you know, throw it in there because we have a good time right we're having fun so basketball and that is what me and my friends do so then the name of my show would be um, it would be friends with balls because me and my friends like ball and like that's what we do so I just thought like you know how words with friends is like really in and like people are all about like friends with something like friends here friends there like friends with balls so what I would offer with my show, it's a reality-based television show, um, to be more specific. I would offer friends, I'd offer fun, and I'd offer sports. So, you know, a lot of people are into sports. So that like would reach like the sport demographic and the end. So I didn't know I didn't know if I was gonna make it through that, but I did. So go ahead. So just to be clear, you want us to make a show called Friends with Balls. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Maybe. I feel like it encompasses so much of like my life. Like, I hang out with friends, hang out with so balls. So your life is a porno? No, like, 
dude, what's wrong with you, man? I mean, this one. I like you, man, but like this, listen, this one's to, gotta go. Not to be funny, I but will pay you to go. You didn't tell yeah. us what the show is about. It's about my friends. We play. We play with balls. So we're it's gonna film it's friends a with balls. Yeah, okay, like athletics, me, man. If you don't mind, may I help you out here a little bit? Yeah. I think you're being a little misunderstood. Um, friends with basketballs. Or sure, baseball. but like sometimes, like sometimes, like hey, we go crazy. We're like, do you want to play bocce ball? Maybe, and then I play. Like it's it's all sorts of balls, but it's like so you like film us while we're like playing with these balls, like talking on like a Sunday afternoon. Like I want to go out and like have drinks with my friends, like shoot some hoops, flag football. That's like multiple different types of balls. So like you can't just say like basketballs. Like come on, like that doesn't make any sense. So friends with balls is just more clear. I feel. I think it. Personally. I think it could be misinterpreted. Well, I think your face could be misinterpreted. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? I have like friends, so. I think it's really great. You're one of um, one of the few who brought in a visual. I think that was very valiant of you. I just think that um, the story. Um, yeah, you can stop with those. It's okay. It was cute. I just, I just feel like so you have like a cute name name cute, for the face. Cute a animals are cute. Yeah, I, I have to be honest with you. This is one of the worst pitches I've ever seen in my entire well, life. Well, what, what could I do to change your mind? Um, stop, first of all. Okay, so just like cool down a little bit. Yeah, all just, right, I'm cool. um, okay. I'm just not feeling the whole balls thing. We could, cha we could change it to like friends with stuff. Friends like, with stuff. <laughs> I'm so sorry, that was rude. I'm just... We had, like, friends with fun or something. I'm just saying, like, me and my friends, we're, like, an awesome crew, and we like to get paid to, like, film what we do. Uh -huh. Like I said, I will pay you to leave yeah. right now. Like, you won't even have to do any of this. I will give you money to walk the way you can. I mean, I, I don't want your pity money. I, I have a job. I work at Arby's. Yeah, can, can I see your um, presentation materials? I think yeah. you spelt friends wrong. Let's see. Friends with friends. Friends with sis. Yeah. yeah, stop wasting my time! All right. Someone's gonna pick that up. I don't know what the deal with this set is, but that took a long time. All right. That took like 20 you, minutes. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you how it is right now. You, my friend, are not cut out for this industry in any way, not shape, at or all. form. Okay, but I don't even believe no, you. No, no. So. I, I'm no, no, telling no, I, you right here, I promise everybody you, this has, is everybody not has for you. Opinion. This is no, not, not for no. you. No, I can tell by this. I can tell by when you walked in. What is this? Well, these shoes are vintage Charles Barkley's. Your shoes are from a stripper pole. <laughs> So I think your I'm your closer. show is from a stripper pole. Okay, no, I we don't we don't strip. A lot of us wear too much clothing actually because layering is very in balls. But athletics. This is a waste no. of time. I know. Listen, it was really really nice of you to come out here. You're the nice one. I have to say this one's really nice. I like Victoria. You two guys yeah. should just go but suck I on will, a tailpipe. I will tell you respectfully. Respectfully. Yeah. That they have the right idea. You're not cut out for this business. I think that you need to take some classes in the business. Um, yeah, nice is not going to get you anywhere. No. It won't even get you out the door. My so, legs will get me out the door. Okay. Then why bye are bye. they walking that Watch way? this. See you My later. legs are going to get me out the door. I don't even need to be nice. See you later. To Tell I'm your friends in their balls I said hi. I walk out. This isn't for everyone, but if you can pitch like a pro, you might just make it with the producers.